Throwback Thursday. Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews Throwback Thursday. My item of the week is none other than the uh, Joby GP3 Gorilla Pod SLR Zoom Flexible Tripod with a BH1 ball head on it. This thing is a lifesaver. If you're like Filming short films, out doing wilderness photography, if you do street photography, if you do anything that you bring people with you, you know, vacation style photography that you can just set this anywhere um, and put a timer on it, get a group photo. This is like the biggest lifesaver. This is like the number one thing. Like if they said, hey, you got to carry a camera, what camera would you carry? And what accessories would you carry? And you could only carry one of each. This would probably be the one that I carry because it's so versatile. I mean, not only uh, do you need this, you have to have this. I mean, really, honestly. If you know anybody that has one of these things and you ask them about it, they will tell you it's the best thing in their arsenal that they have. You can first carry if like if if I got my arms full or whatever, man, I can just go carry this around. It ain't going nowhere if I didn't really. I'm not really going to jerk that hard. But you can stuff it in your pocket and, and clamp it around your arm if you wanted to. Just like if you're carrying a bunch of stuff going from A to B, it's the least thing you're going to have to worry about. So you're not going to have to worry about storing it. It's I don't know. It's just genius. And the good thing about with this ball head here, this can support like 6.6 .6 pounds of an SLR, by the way. And it's got a bubble level on the, on the back. Uh, you can unscrew this, and you got full rotation here. Say it's got a little uh, slit in the side, so if you got your camera on it, you just turn it to the side there, and now you got your shot that way. Turn it back up. And this thing is mega grippy. Like, trying to get to move the head on its own once you I mean it barely takes like a twist to tighten it man it like glues in there it's amazing let me show you what it looks like with the camera on it real quick uh, it's pretty uh, hefty SLR uh, it's not got a zoom uh, lens uh, they've got one specialty for a zoom lens let me make sure I get this I'm trying to do the best I can without a coin Normally you just stick like a uh, coin or something in there, and I'll, I think I have one. No, I don't. And I don't want to break it, but uh, you'll get the idea. Uh, it's a little release lever there for whenever this is in. If you want it out, it'll just click in. You slide it right on in there. Clicks. Oh yeah. Now you're kind of taking your shot or whatever. And this works great too to leave on because it's like a relaxer. Because for me, I get like um, fatigued, I guess, if I'm holding a camera up for too long doing stuff. I start getting fatigued up in here. But a lot of times I'll leave. I'll, I got another one I'll show you, like this little guy here. But this one, a lot of times, if perfect grip, it's oversized or ergonomic style grip, which won't fatigue your hand either. But a lot of times I'll leave it down here and I can hold it up and still take pictures and stuff. And it's like I don't do not get fatigued at all uh, up here. Not like this. And you wouldn't think this is heavy, but it turns into a, a heavy piece of equipment. I don't know how much it weighs off the top of my head, but it feels like a brick. But it gets really heavy if you've got it up for a long period of time. So uh, having this ergonomic, the ergonomics of it, having it down here and just keeping it on it, you know, allows me to relax this hand. And I've got this free to push and turn and dial and all that kind of stuff and take pictures and I'm completely relaxed like my muscles up here in the show that normally get fatigued for taking pictures are relaxed and just fine it's like awesome because I'm holding it down lower and then I can kind of lock it up against my body to where I'm really not even holding it up it doesn't feel like I'm holding it up and, it, and it's at the perfect height for me you know what I'm saying it's genius so this to me if you're like city photography if you're running around doing whatever it's like a must-have anyway because it fits like these little grippies right in here just fit like mold right into your hand. It's like the ultimate uh, little carry-around stick, you know what I'm saying? Like a little monopod, a little tiny, a tiny one. And then when you're ready to take some good shots or something, 
This thing will like stand on a dime. I don't know what that means, but it'll do it. Stand like that, you know, hey, I want to take, you know, one shot to the side like that, boom, it'll lay to the side, turn. I mean, I'm barely, show you an example here. Turn, done. Let's leave it in an awkward position, see if it goes anywhere. See, it does not, it's just crazy how, how awesome these things are made. It's insane. And another thing I use it for, take this off, mainly for video, a lot of times if I need lighting in a, in a weird and odd spot um, that I can't get like a, um, a regular like umbrella light kind of set up or some other light in, works great for uh, getting uh, LED, one of these cheap like $20, $15 I think there's 210 LEDs or something like that in this, I think, or 110 or something. But uh, I got different uh, uh, little filters over them. But anyway, this is like a crappy head on this one, so it's always, I gotta like tighten it all the time to keep it on there. But anyway, regardless, I you know wrap it around this thing up on a, a shower curtain or something if I'm doing some bathroom scene or whatever, and I can like leave it laying down on the side like that and just take it up. And, Cut it on, you know, and boom, we got lighting, to f a fill light or something for a shadow that you don't want on your face. Um, so that, that works uh, great for that. And uh, let's see about the little guy, what benefits we have from him. Um, but anyway, this is definitely going on my trip to Chicago for real. Hold it like that when I'm done. Wrap it around my strap on my shoulder with the armlet with the legs on it. Genius. Whoever invented that's got to be loaded with money. Um, with lots of money. So this is the same exact thing on a smaller scale. It's good for your cell phone or one of these little small cameras and that's it. There's not much weight that it can hold. Uh, kind of has the same setup but the cool thing with this little guy it even has a lock on it. You can twist this over to lock it so when you push this it's not even going to slide off. So I'm going to unlock it now. Boom, slides right off. Got a little tiny thing. You screw this little guy on here. And it's not gonna be exactly straight or anything. Click it, lock it back in place. You can do the same thing with it, you know, set it down, boom. Use your auto, use your leveler on your camera there. Make sure you level for this one. And by the way, this one does have a bubble level on there, which is nice. It'd be nice. Well, you can buy these, so no big deal. Uh, bubble level here, one here, something. But uh, you can use your in-camera level for that. And just put this one on the opposite side, you know, if you wanted to be uh, super picky with your level. As long as you got a good level um, left or right, you're all right. But um, anyway, it... This one, these, these turn a lot freer than the other ones, so that means it's not going to support as much weight because it's not going to take as much to uh, move them. But, I mean, it still stays, like, really easy. I don't know if I didn't have that off weight. but And that would be, like, good for... These would be great for, like, micro shots, you know, or something set up like that. And both of them would be. Um, say you're one of those insect takers or whatever, or time lapse for insects, you know what I mean? You could set that there so there's an ant hill around or something crazy or whatever bees or whatever leave it there time lapse that you know or, or put it up in the eve of your house for birds um boom done time lapse gopro gopros would work great for this jvc addictions um different action cams and stuff would work with no problem uh with those uh but yeah these are just genius made now let's talk about the price of them now, you're probably thinking these should be cheap, and they are. You can catch them on sale. I bought two of these, five bucks a piece. They were on sale at like Walmart on the back aisle. They were damaged packaging. I saw them about crap my pants because I'm like, I know exactly what these are. And I was like, I'll take two because I don't use these as often because I have bigger stuff than these because this, this, this light's even too heavy for this because um, I think it's got like eight uh, AA batteries in the back. So. But uh, for this, the 6 and 6.6 .6 pounds, uh, it does well. Um, this little guy here on Amazon, I'll leave a link for it. It's kind of high. I think you can find it cheaper somewhere else, possibly eBay. 
I'd be scared of ripoffs from eBay or copycats, but you know, try it and see if you can find it cheaper. But they're 18 bucks on uh, Amazon for this little guy. I think that's pushing what they're worth for these because there must be a patent, I'm sure, on it. Um, that would the reasoning for the higher price. Um, but if you got something small, like GoPro or whatever, yeah, you would want that. GoPro accessories are high. Anyway, so why not spend 18 bucks for something that you'll use forever and all the time? And this beautiful beast is uh, 44 bucks with the ball head. You get them without the ball head. And they also have them for uh, video. It's got your long stick coming out and it, and it moves smooth and stuff like that. So you can set this up on a rock or whatever and then, and then move real smooth with the, with the video and stuff. Um, it has those head attachments for that. Uh, this one's for an SLR, um, zoom, um, uh, but it's got the BH1 ball head on it. Fantastic. 44 bucks, free shipping from Amazon. I am tempted to buy another one because I use this thing so much. Because something happened to this, one of these things broke off or something, I would probably cry myself to sleep and then run Amazon and buy it. Now, I kind of looked it up kind of halfway, and the 44 bucks that Amazon has this for is about the best price right now. Uh, I think I was... Got a damaged package again on these off of an eBay seller. Had a bulk, had them in bulk, I think for 37 And that's like the cheapest, I want to say, I've seen these. But worth every penny. Anyway, that's been my throwback Thursday item is the Jobby, uh, period, the Jobby line. Now, I'm, I'm familiar with these two, so that's the only ones I can show you. Not too sure about the other ones, but these do great for sure this one hands down is a must-have I think for any videographer photographer anything this is a must period 44 bucks you kidding me you spend how many hundreds of dollars on a tripod this thing gets lower than any tripods gonna get it's gonna wrap around stuff it's gonna get higher than any tripods gonna get it's a no-brainer this is like a compliment to your arsenal um, anyway so this is probably uh, this will not be my last throwback Thursday of I think I can squeeze one in next week before I go off to Chicago because I do leave, probably have to leave the house around 11 or 10 in the morning to get to the airport. Uh, I think the flight goes out uh, at 2, so it's a direct flight, so it's like an hour flight to Chicago. Uh, so I'll be in Chicago next Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and we leave Monday night uh, at O'Hare. So if anybody out there lives anywhere around Chicago and want to get together one night while I'm there for a drink and stuff like that and hang out, please contact me. I, I would really love to do that. Anybody that watches the channel and stuff, I mean, it, it's my bachelor trip. I'm going on my bachelor trip. So uh, if you're around Chicago, uh, don't call me because I'm not going to give you my number, but uh, message me like on Google Plus or something like that and we'll set up a place to go and a time and stuff like that man and hang out for for a little while you know what I mean get, get a few drinks I like that a lot but you know that's all I got uh, I do believe I think the next time you'll see you'll notice like I posted three videos tonight because I'm gonna be gone like all weekend and then I go back to work and then I fly out so I'll I'll film two more videos the weekend review and the uh, throwback Thursday next week I'll do those pretty close to each other and put the Throwback Thursday on at like uh, uh, late at night, Wednesday night. So it's technically Thursday. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, also, I'm going to start asking that uh, people in the description leave uh, any kind of feedback for me because I'm trying to get better. I want to get better. I'm starting a, uh, a .com. I'm going to have a website uh, after uh, the wedding. It's probably going to have to end up being after the wedding. I think I might can work on it in between. Uh, now in the wedding maybe get it out but it's going to be like really uh nice I i'm really going to shoot for really nice whatever that means but it's going to be really interactive it's going to have a ton of stuff it's going to be the hub for everything that i'm doing and and you'll be able to get to everything i've got going on from the website so the idea would be go to the website for my content yes and then uh working on getting you know trademark stuff possibly brand stuff uh, and LLC for uh, limited liability. It's protecting myself if I'm out doing something that if I get sued, the company gets sued, the website, uh, which is going to be my business on the side. If it gets sued, it protects my personal belongings. So the LLC is worth that uh, to protect me because I do want to go out and, and film and do different things. You never know what happens. 
but that would be business related doing that the LLC would protect me I've rambled on probably far beyond I just want you to know what's going on if I kind of get lost because we're getting closer we're 20 something days away from my wedding which is March 21st the pressure's on to make sure I got all my uh, ducks in a row for that like physical ducks like you know come on let's go we gotta get you there and there and there and I need this here and there and all that so it's getting pressure and so the content's gonna get uh, it's gonna kind of dip a little bit and then come back to where it was at before but like I said I want to do get better yes I want to get better and uh, I need your help just let me know how, what you think what I need to work on down below it's probably rambling might be one of them but I'm just trying to uh, communicate what's going on with you that's why I waited until afterwards because you could easily quit watching. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the weekend review. And also, tell me if the weekend review is even worth it because it takes a lot of work to do the weekend review, and I could probably squeeze in a product review in, in the place of that. So let me know if you enjoyed that too. So see you later. This has been another Isaiah's Reviews. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and share this to all your social sites. That helps get me to places I can't get to on my own. And I really do appreciate that. And I can't wait to see you again here on Isaiah's Reviews.